Do you still live in the Philippines? And are you coming back? Is it possible to fall in love with a Filipino? Real juicy questions. Talaga, since you are now single, can you please post hot or sultry Bruh. pictures on Instagram? Are you in love? Yes, I am in love. It has been a minute. Welcome to my Q&A. Okay, I received over 200 questions on Instagram and yeah, I saw that there was a reoccurring question, a few reoccurring questions, and I'm going to answer a few of them today. To make it easier, I decided to split it up into different categories, uh, general beauty and health, Philippines related questions, relationship questions, yep, you are dying to know, and uh, then business and vlogging. So without further ado, Let's get started. First question and one of the most asked questions, how are you doing Nelly? And I am doing super well. Thank you so much for asking. I had, yeah, I would say quite a few rough months and I decided to take a break from traveling to just center myself and connect with some friends and have some routines because I've been traveling so, so much that I, I don't know, I kind of like lost track of which day it was and where I was and I didn't wake up in the same bed every day. So I'm feeling super super good after three months of not traveling and just grounding myself and spending some time with quality time with some friends second question what kind of music are you listening to and my go-to answer is it depends it depends on my mood it depends on the time of the day and for example when i wake up i have very chill vibes to ease into the day be slow and just be very mindful once i head out to the gym i listen to french electronic music which is a pretty stunning niche i discovered yeah i really like it and then in the evening when i come back home i like to unwind and be slow and just be calm so i listen to classic music this is my nighttime routine and that puts me to sleep ah quick little break to play a round of games to relax and to unwind and while i'm at it i wanted to introduce you to dragon mania legends it's a free simulator game that you can play on mobile, tablet, and PC. Dragonlandia is a dragon fantasy world where you can breed and train more than 1,000 dragons, each one cuter than the other one. And the fun part about the game is that you can play it with your friends and your family, and if you want to join other clans, you can gain some extra power. Settle down in the archipelago, unleash your creativity in design and decorate your own fantasy islands with special farms where you can grow food and habitats. And the interesting part is you can breed your own dragons through mating combinations. Sounds interesting? It is. And you can collect new species. You can feed, pet and train your own dragons. It's pretty much like having your own Tamagotchi just on your phone. Remember those old good times? Ah, oh, good times. I love that. Miss that. Oh, my Tamagotchi was very sad. And you can grow your dragons from egg to adult. Once you train them, you can participate in exciting battles, events and mini games. And specifically now is a great time to download Dragon Mania Legends because they came up with a few exciting updates that you don't want to miss out on. And we celebrate French so the more the merrier the more people join your clan the more power you have you will receive 100k gold 50k food and a free familiar dragon that I just picked for you and as always I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can click and download Dragon Mania Legends for free try it out and see how you like it enjoy have fun and now back to the vlog third question how do you handle pressure there are two things two very opposite extremes that help me uh, handle pressure one of them is boxing and the other one is meditation of course there are, there are also routines and also healthy food all of these things combined are just giving me a lot of peace and clarity which is yeah very important for me I would say what makes you happy now simple answer routines and friends seeing the same people every week makes me super super happy going to the gym eating the same food every day which sounds weird but yeah routines simple where are you now and are you staying for good well uh, i must say that is a question that i want to go further into detail in a separate video but i think you saw this background uh, already a, a few times yeah there's a big life update about that Aside from food and travel vlogs, what else are you passionate about? I am passionate about fitness. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that I'm super into fitness. I'm passionate about self-development, learning new things. I'm also passionate about spirituality, healing. 
it has been, uh, yeah, quite a nice thing to be passionate about with positive side effects. And by the way, if you want to follow me and my journey of my fitness and health and whatnot, just follow me on Instagram. I post way more up-to-date things there. What are your five bucket list destinations? I always wanted to go to Egypt since I was a kid. I want to go to Greece. I want to go to Sicily. I want to go to Antarctica. On top of that, I think I want to go to Bhutan, Mongolia and Nepal. It has been so appealing to me. Friends of mine traveled there just recently and it looks so, so stunning. And Next question is one that made you all so so worried what happened in Mexico that made you tear up and the simple answer is it was not Mexico it was just the circumstances life in general it has been a little bit overwhelming and then you know when things are not going according to plan and you just struggle to make sense of everything everything is a little bit harder so yeah in general I would say Mexico was an amazing trip I will definitely go back again but with some else that accompanies me I wouldn't go by myself but it was just just life sometimes life just hits you and then it comes out <laughs> I'm not suppressing any feelings I feel the feels and that's life you know ups and downs we are switching to beauty and health and first question is how do you maintain your diet when you're traveling so much it must be really challenging and the simple answer is it is challenging it is the most challenging thing ever and I don't restrict myself when I'm traveling because after all I'm a foodie and I love to try new foods all around the world starting from street food to just random foods or oh, like fine cuisine you call it and I really don't want to be like oh but uh, I will gain weight so I go all in when I'm traveling and once I come back home, I get back into healthy routines again. I go to the gym, I eat healthy, I would say 80% of the time, you know, 80-20 rule and clean, you know, so nothing fatty, no nothing too unhealthy. So yeah, uh, very simple answer. I drink a lot of water. I try to stay away from alcohol when I take a break from traveling. I work out a lot. It's very simple, also not, but yeah, this is how I do it. Next one is what mascara are you using? Your lashes look amazing. Most of the times I have lash extensions. So in Bali, I go to this place called Rin Beauty. They are freaking amazing. I will link them in the description box down below. Just say, hey, I heard Nelly does her lashes. Please do the same lashes. And they have it on record so you can have it too. They stay on for a month. And then after a month, I take a break from it so that my natural lashes can grow back because you know, the lashes are attached to, to your natural lashes and um, yeah then I do it again and if I don't use the extensions I have a mascara I think from Maybelline I have to look where it is but I will link it down below next one is your hair looks so lush you look fabulous and I have to say my hair has been growing like crazy in the last year and there are a few factors that I changed I removed stress from my life I made sure that I take some supplements and then I also try to eat the right foods and just live oral healthy and balanced and yeah take care of my hair I go to the hairdresser on a more regular basis right now I have it all up but uh, yeah they're like cute like there's a lot of hair that has grown and I lost a lot of hair during the pandemic so I'm super super happy about it I can also link the products that I've been using in the in the description box down below next topic Philippines I got quite a few questions and quite a few interesting questions as well which I will answer, but some of them in this video and some of them in a separate dedicated video. First question, are you going to learn the Filipino language? Talaga, pero I already speak Taglish. What are your top three vacation spots in the Philippines? Easy to answer. One of my favorite places in the whole of Philippines is Shagao Island. It is beautiful, absolutely stunning. You have adventure, you have food, you have island hopping, you have so many amazing things and it is a paradise. And then the second one is Batanes, very very different landscape it is up in the north it has beautiful hills it looks like New Zealand and it's so different and so quiet it's off the beaten path it's not as touristy as other places in the Philippines and it's definitely worth a visit third one is Calaguas Island which is this little paradise island in the Bicol region which has blown me away I think if I would have to live on a on an island far away from society, that would be my first choice. And now one of the most asked questions. Do you still live in the Philippines? 
and are you coming back? And I think the reason why you guys are asking is because I've been somewhere else. I've been in Bali for the majority of the last year when I was not traveling. And yeah, I think I have to explain why. The short answer is yes, I still live in the Philippines. I am a permanent resident for life. It is my home and I'm going to return to the Philippines on several occasions. But one of my life goals was always to establish several um, home bases. And one of those home bases for me now is Bali. I'm still going back to the Philippines, but let's just, let's just say I'll do a video about it. And I promise I will explain this question in detail so you guys can relate and understand why I made the decision. Juicy question. Is it possible to fall in love with a Filipino? I think it is possible. It is quite possible, but I don't know where life brings me, right? So you never know. Maybe I'm open to it. We made it to the end, to the real juicy questions. And it's about relationships and love. And one of the questions is, are you in love? Yes, I am in love with life. I know that is not a satisfying answer, but I do really mean it. Are you happy now being single? Simple answer, yes. I really enjoy my single life. I found myself. I think that is a very simple answer. And right now I'm enjoying it as long as it lasts. And if somebody comes along that I fall in love with, so be it. But right now I am very happy being single, being by myself, very content, very at peace with myself. And um, yeah. Another question that I got was a bit of a really, really juicy one. Since you are now single, can you please post hot or sultry pictures on Instagram? Instagram. No, I can't and it goes against my values and also I don't really want to see my parents Me being in like sexual poses or whatever. This is not for the public eye This is something for my you know private life that is not on camera not to be seen there If ever I have a nice tasteful shooting, I'm happy to share but no hot pictures Do you wish to have a family of your own and have children? Simple answer, yes. And I'm very much looking forward to that moment. Next one is, what's the best learning, takeaway or advice that you can give yourself and to someone based on your past relationship? I would say I'm not the best person to go to in terms of relationship advice because, you know, I'm single. But I would say communication is key. Be honest and respect each other. Be your own person and do things that fill your cup. And dedicate more time to friends and for some alone time. Super, super important. Next question is, how are you really feeling? I won't be feeling really well after such a long relationship and being by myself. And let me just say something. Once you heal, it's the most beautiful thing ever. And having some alone time and being okay with being alone, it doesn't mean that you are lonely. It just means that you are at peace with yourself, that you're enjoying solitude, that you don't really depend on external validation as much. And um, having that is a superpower. So just saying to all of you guys who are going through a breakup, hang in there, it really gets better. You know, just focus on your healing and everything will be all right and the last one is for business and vlogging related questions and one of the questions is are you vlogging on the GoPro Hero 12 your vlogs look so stunning lately no I'm not I don't have the 12 yet although I'm a GoPro ambassador but I haven't picked it up yet and all of my vlogs are filmed on the GoPro Hero Black 11 yep it's amazing. Next question is, what are your goals in the next five years? I can't wait to see your transformation. I have to say, I don't make five-year goals. I try to make goals for a year and then I come back to it every quarter and just evaluate and adapt and just try to see how I can transform it into what is most aligned with where I'm at at the moment. And the last one is, are you going back to daily vlogging? Simple answer, no. I really don't want to force myself to be in front of the camera every day. It is a very, very stressful environment. Although I'm very passionate about creating content, I would rather focus on creating quality content over quantity. And I also want to dedicate some time for my own business visions that I have. And one of those business visions is a baby that I started last year, which is Freedom Creator Academy. And and yeah, this is my way of giving back to my community. I want to focus on helping others to turn the passion into a career the same way like I did it. So you can have a more location independent and just in general, 
boss independent business of your own doing something that you really love and if you're interested there's a link in the description box down below follow me on instagram freedom creator academy where i post free advice for youtube and then also i will offer some um, courses in the next future there is a lot coming i'm super super excited to just grow my business also outside of youtube and yeah so i can just sustain everything and vlogs are still coming i'm still traveling but i just want to do something that you know i built on my own and that can also function without the camera yeah that was it that was the q a i hope you got some clarity i am traveling to another destination with some friends from bali so please stay tuned for that hit the notification bell subscribe it's going to be two guys and two girls and it's going to be exciting we're going to try a lot of different foods we're going to party we're going to have a great time please tune in and i'll see you guys next time Mwah. Oh, you're